Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HPC. I'm here at the GPU Technology Conference with Ian Buck from NVIDIA. Now, Ian, we had an announcement today of something called Kayla, a development platform. What is this thing? Well, this is the Kayla development platform. It's a Tegra uh, 3 CPU with a Kepler GPU connected over PCIe. This uh, comes with complete CUDA 5 and OpenGL 4.3 runs standard Ubuntu Linux, and really is a development kit for future Integra processors as well as for HPC community that's very interested in ARM and the future of ARM and HPC. So, so, you know, ARM processors are certainly the future of HPC, but there's not a lot of things to test your code on. Is that the idea here? Yeah, we really find that developers who uh, have Linux HPC codes are able to bring their code over to ARM, recompile it, tune it up, and get some pretty impressive results right away. Okay, so if they have a CUDA experience, it isn't going to be a big deal to uh, come over to this environment. Now, this boots up just like uh, Ubuntu Linux desktop, as you've seen before. All the uh, application developer tools are almost all, all there, freely available. It really is. Uh, ARM's come a long way, and we're pretty excited about it. Okay, so so the, the market is uh, developers, right? And so I would guess that it's priced in a way that's going to be accessible? Yeah, the pricing is done through the OEMs. Uh, Seiko has uh, is delivering some uh, pricing today, but it's only a few hundred dollars to get okay. get access to this platform. Well, this is very exciting. So uh, we, we saw a demo today with uh, Jensen's keynote mm -hmm. where this did something. It looked like real time uh, rendering or ray tracing. Yeah, and that was was all happening here. Yeah, that was all happening here with the te Tegra CPU and all the GPU work with CUDA was happening on this GPU. Um, we had real-time optics ray tracing on CUDA. We had an OpenGL 4 water simulation demo using OpenGL tessellation shaders. And we also had a smoke particle simulator, which we include in our CUDA toolkit. Very cool. So, so these, you know, ARM isn't 64-bit yet for us HPC fans, but this would give you a way to start trying things out then, wouldn't it? Yeah, we yeah. all know ARM 64 is coming, uh, but you don't have to wait for it in order to get your applications running on ARM and be ready for that transition.